All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. Let me get this camera fixed a bit. There we go. Hello. What's up? It's Monday. It's four o'clock Eastern time, which means only one thing. We are going to be having some fun playing cybersecurity video games that are actually educating us using the world of Haiku platform on Simply Cyber. I'm your host, Gerald Dozier, longtime cybersecurity professional and lover of all things cybersecurity. I seriously have like an unhealthy passion for the field, learning, practicing, talking, researching, listening, and playing. I want to say what's up to everybody. Hey, Angie Yarbrough, good to see you afternoon. Silent Hawk for all those over on LinkedIn. Good to see you. Hey, Kevin Barry. Sophie's in the house. Good afternoon, Sophie. How you doing? Let's give Sophie a... Liam! Liam, it's been a minute. Liam, good to see you. Good day to you too, sir. How are you? Hope everybody's well. My man, Jake Price, is in the house. Welcoming the 336,000 subscribers to the Haiku Inc. YouTube channel onto the stream. Amazing numbers. Congratulations to the Haiku community, the Haiku team. Guys, we're going to be playing Forge today. I'm going to be showing you two new secret uh, levels. They're not secrets, meaning you can't find them. They're secret. That's their name is secret. And I have not seen them. Just like the Daily Cyber Threat Briefing, where I don't see the stories beforehand, I do not know what to expect with these ranges. They are community built. And they are brand new, brand new. They still have like, you know, the plastic wrap that you have to like peel off. That's still there. And we're going to love it. Hey, Nick Barker, my man, left coast love, not Cali. Always making that mistake. Holla, holla, holla. Let's get our range on his right. If you want to play along, let me go ahead and drop a link in chat here. Um, let me do this really quickly. If you want to play along, hold on a second. Let me get this in here. Boom. Yeah, Nick. Aloha, Drifter X. Drifter over in Honolulu, my man. That is cool, dude. I mean, I feel pretty good being down here in the low country, but Honolulu, that's where it's at. Jaron Judd. So, hey, for those who are um, not aware in chat right now, Jaron Judd is the author of these ranges. So, Jaron, I will be uh, giving my honest re reflections and reviews. I'm happy to, that you're in chat. It'll be a good time having the author and a player getting into it. Sammy's up in the UK. Hey, Sammy. What time is it over there, dude? Nine o'clock? I think it's nine o'clock right now. Love it. So the Forge range that we're going to be playing, it, think of like Roblox or Fortnite, the way that you can create your own content, user content, community content. That's what Forge is. They have an entire platform that enables you to develop and build your own custom content. It's really cool. Hey, Kevin Barry with the super chat. Did we just become best friends? Yep. Thanks, Kevin Barry, and congratulations on your academic endeavors wish you the very best and i'm glad that you watch every day we'll give you the uh squad membership love it man good to see you so stoked normally working oh terry bailey's in the house normally unable to make it but that's where it's at oh wakami coming in from maryland i love it blue crab state jenny housley's in the in the house all right, well, let's let's move over and take a look, shall we, guys? Hey, Cher. Good to see you. Let's see what our head count is in here. we got 46 beautiful people in here right now. Hopefully, you can hear the music. I like a little jam in the background. Nick Barker, let me know if the audio is good. Nick Barker, I'll, I'll start calling you uh, Bob Powers. Bob Powers, let me know the... Microphone's clear. All right, let's get into it, y'all. All right, guys, so check it out. This is World of Haiku that I'm in right now. I'm going to go into the Forge range right here. You can see Forge. 
And when I click on it, you can see this is the community. And these are ranges that are being made right now by community members. We could see we've got net crack test in here. I don't even know what that is. Secrets one, secret one A, one B. I see duplicates of one A and one B. So what I think I'm gonna do, oh, they are exact duplicates. Even the timestamps the same. We're gonna we're gonna go YOLO and just click on the first one, see what happens. I'm downloading the mission. The objective is to learn about ciphers. Now, one really interesting thing to point out here is that I could copy this range to the forge. So let's say that this is an awesome range and I like it. Hey, Siam, I believe this is in the uh, premium version. Definitely not on the free version. This is World of Haiku. You can copy the range and start on top of what they've already built. So it's like standing on the shoulders of giants, which is really, really nice, right? Very cool. Let me get my mod chat up in case I need to get some help. All right, so check it out. Oh my God, is this current? Is this current right now? Hold on one second. Ah, hold on one second. I don't want that on stream. One second. This is, sorry, this is like an active breach that I'm getting from a threat intel uh, source that is particularly interesting. Normally I wouldn't do this while live on stream. However, is this today? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I would very much expect this to be in the news tonight. Wow. Okay. All right, back to the stream. Here we go. Now, so right now, uh, Tim Koss, this is not free. So a lot of, okay, so just so everybody knows, I play Haiku Pro and I play World of Haiku. However, I'm playing World of Haiku right now, which has only a premium version. As far as I know, there's no free version of World of Haiku. We are playing in the Forge, which is the community developed range uh, stuff. And um, this is, uh, you know, it's, it's premium. I think it's $9.99 a month maybe to, to, to get full access to the whole environment. If, um, if Base Case or Vince are in chat, it would be really nice to know. But let's get into it, okay? All right, so Jaron... I'm excited. I've selected it. Let's go ahead and hit play. All right, haiku hack. Oh my gosh, what's going on here? Let's do this. There we go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and press the space bar to continue. Let's do that. There we go. Where's everybody at today? Has anybody had a chance to play any of the ranges on World of Haiku's Forge? I'd be curious. I, I've been playing a few. I played Jenny Housley's a few weeks ago. It was awesome. Over the past several days, there have been reports that Agenda 21 has been intending to offload a new tool to the right bidder. We don't know their intended target or who the buyer is, but we know that their normal targets are infrastructure or governments. What's up, Spencer Base? Good to see you. Whatever this tool is, it can't be good. The introduction of a zero day could interrupt critical infrastructure. Geez, that's particularly timely. <laughs> Speaking of critical infrastructure. Uh, Zara was playing the CC Forge and somehow it's not showing now. Uh, I don't, what is CC Forge? I don't know what CC is, uh, Zara. You'll have to let me know in chat what CC is. Cyber Monsters right now are working tirelessly to find out anything they can regarding the threat. We need your help. Oh, hey, so Zara, Jaron is saying that the CC uh, ranges have been removed at this time. 
just to acclimate everybody, one, this is the network topology. You can see you can hover over endpoints and get IP addresses and a little bit of information. This is a web server, so you get the domain name, firewall, gateways, switches, endpoints, etc. You can see these endpoints actually have uh, host names on them, which is cool. These red uh, connecting edges are uh, basically network topology. It's, it's network uh, interconnections between the endpoints and the networking switches. Over here is like uh, where the story is driven. And you kind of think of it as like your cell phone, right? These are text messages coming in. And then over here, this is our terminal workstation. There's no GUI in World of Haiku. They get you going on getting comfortable with the terminal ASAP. All right, so let's keep going. Hello, Jerry guy. Gungnir has intercepted an encrypted file from an Agenda 21 agent, but so far all the efforts to decipher it have failed. We have reason to believe that a certain dealer may have information that could help us crack it. Ooh, yeah. I managed to get us into the network of another client of the dealer, Decrypt. See if you find anything of interest. Okay, let's take a look. All right, so we are, and you can see here, we are currently logged into Decrypt workstation, or we're logged in as Decrypt into a workstation. Presumably this machine. We can go ahead and confirm it really quickly by doing IF config. Oops. Uh, okay. All right, so the command's locked. The, the ranges, so the forge ranges um, are created by individuals and you have to be, it's very, very configurable, right? So you decide what apps are available and which ones are not. Uh, 0x00 wants to know if there's any way to demo it. Um, if somebody is in chat, Jake Price from World of Haiku, Base Case from World of Haiku, Vince, uh, please respond to the question 0x00 has. All right, so let's look around this box, okay? We've got a home directory. Okay, let's go in there. We got uh, four directories, desktop. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use a little cheat code here. Ready? All right, uh, first I'm going to show you the, the long way to do it, and then I'll show you the cheat code way to do it. So now we're in the desktop. Oh, my God, dude. It's just like... All right, so let's do this. There appears to be some form of cipher key and maybe some binary code with a defanged URL. Just to you, uh, get everybody comfortable, because I do like to educate, um, the term defanged means that it it's like prevents you from accidentally clicking on it. See right here? This is what defangs it. Also, these uh, spaces defang it, okay? That's what defanging means. Also, sometimes you'll see defanged malware where they'll remove like the eval command or the execute command from within the source code uh, to keep it from being able to like, um, from people hurting themselves with malware. Oh, Adam, Adam Snydeker, Adam, squad membership. You know, 100%, I love it, uh, Adam. Telehealth, sign me up, dude. Unless I'm like actively bleeding and I need you to like physically repair me, sign me up for telehealth. I'm all in. Let's go. All right. So if we're dealing with a cipher, then we're dealing with cryptography. If this is a key, then we can crack the code. I like it. I like it. By the way, shout out to the um, range developer, Jaron Judd. I love the dark mode on the uh, network topology. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. No bricks in the home directory. Yes. No wonder Gungdeer was having a hard time trying to break this thing. Without a key, his chance to decrypt the file is low. We need to contact Gungnir and see if we can figure out what kind of cipher this is for. And it will allow us to break the encryption. Okay, sounds right. Continue to look around. Hold on one second, I gotta fix this. Continue to look around for hints to what kind of cipher we're looking at. I'll try to reach Gungnir. So essentially keep looking around in this directory. Now he said he took notes for us. Rascal's like our buddy. 
And there we go. So we have the, the notes. So we don't have to write them down ourselves. Thanks, Rascal. I'm terrible at taking notes. I'll be the first to admit. When it comes to taking notes. You are so dumb. I am so dumb. I am so dumb when it comes to taking notes. So let's keep, let's back up to the home directory. Let's go in here. Let's go into the documents directory. Nothing in there. Let's go into emails. Let's go in there. Let's go into the inbox directory. Let's go in there. Ooh, hello. Hello, secrets are so hot right now. That Hansel's so hot right now. So let's let's look at this. I mean, obviously the Riri secrets should have the entire catalog of the story, right? You've never crushed cyber skulls? Oh yeah, all right. So World 4B, uh, we could do World 4B, Carrie, and I could show you how to do that too. What's that? Some kind of scramble text gibberish nonsense? I have no idea. Maybe you can figure it out. So let's take a look at what we got. All right. So it says a cipher is an algorithm for performing encryption or decryption. Do you remember the decoder rings we had as a kid? Think of that. Decoding is like decryption. You have, I don't think that this is encoded. I think this is a rendering problem on the front of the page. Okay. I don't know what a cipher is. Why should I know what a cipher is? What's the password? The information you need is found on the website. Use the cipher to crack the code. Use the password to log in. You will have to combine your efforts. Your payload will be there. The payload is too sensitive to transfer through messages. Okay. This is not what I asked for. I have paid you bit, bit creds. Where's the payload? I thought dealers were better than this. Thank you for your business. All right. Holy crap. So this is a back and forth. We bought something. And uh, the dealer said it's too sensitive. You got to you gotta use the code to get to it. So Jake Price is saying right now that Haiku Online product has a free trial option. If you go to product.haikuinc.io slash start you, I guess. It looks like part of the thing didn't... Um, here. So I just clicked on it. It's product.haiku... Bro. All right, hold on. I'm going to drop it in chat. Oh my God, bro. I'm going to drop it in chat too, but this is the, um, hold on a second. I can't really show you because my camera is blocking it all. Okay. This right here is what you have to go to. I'm going to drop a link in chat. But you can get a free trial and you can access Forge through there. Thanks, Jake Price. Solid assist, my man. All right, let's get the camera back up. All right, here we are. TA wants to join cybersecurity. Any advice? Sure. TA, here's, here's the best thing you can do. Not the best thing, but here's a solid step, okay? Go. To, oh, wait, hold on. That's Don't use that... Um, that's the wrong. Uh... Don't go to that. I don't even know what site that goes to. That's where you go. So if you go to that website, TA, check it out. This is a book I wrote. Okay. I get asked that question literally every single day. So I, I wrote down what I typically answer that question with into a book. You go to the website, you'll download the book for free and then um, get going. All right. So we have to crack this code. I'm going to add this to your notes. Also, O-E-H-G-H-F. What could it mean? I don't know. Let's keep looking though, okay? All right, so now let me just tell you, um, I'm up here. I'm going to use a trick here. And I use the DU command. And you could see by using the DU command, I basically get to dump the entire file structure of the, um, the server or the, the workstation. So now I could see all the files. So instead of 
enumerating up and down, I can just do this. What I will say is thanks for subscribing. Let's go check that out. I, I do wanna, I do wanna see what that is. Let's, let's look at what that is. Decrypt signed up for a website about crypto. Maybe you should open your web browser and check that out. Thanks for subscribing to crypto.com. Th check out your website to begin learning about crypto cryptography. <laughs> Cryptography, what am I saying? We hope that our, you're welcome, TA. Uh, we hope that our resources will be of use to you. Feel free to browse at your convenience. All right, so let's go to crypto.com. I open a web browser. I'm going to just, what's up that s satirical guy? Good to see you. Crypto.com. Oh, wow. Small font, but I like it. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Here. There you go. There's a clickable link. All right. So crypto.com. Cryptography is the art and science of securing information from unauthorized access, rich history. So the cool thing is you can see that this page, while it's informational, is also educational, right? It's it's giving context, it's giving history. You gotta remember, World of IQ's intent is not to be a video game, it is to educate you. But if it can be a video game and be entertaining at the same time, that's even better. And it will, uh, you'll be playing, like you're playing a video game. So you don't think that, oh, I'm learning. You think, oh, I'm playing a video game. So no, Carrie, if anything, you made it, um, you made it better so people can click on it. The key is for a Caesar cipher. It doesn't appear to be, appear to be rot three though. Also, I just want to uh, point out, I know Jaron Judd made it say rot three, but uh, typically I want to say rot 13 is the more common um nomenclature i mean but ro it's rotation and then a number one through 26 three positions don't make the letters line up have a look at the cipher key again and see if you can figure out what kind of shift is present raw three is the kind of cipher the web page mentioned because the character shifts three spaces okay how many characters does our cipher shift what would be the name what would the name be Navigate the root directory and create a text file using the echo command with the name of the file being the type of cipher and the decrypted cipher text as the context of the file. What? Navigate to the root directory. Okay, hold on. Navigate to the root directory, create a text file using the echo command. Okay, that makes sense with the name of the file being the type of cipher. So I guess Caesar and the decrypted cipher text as the contents of the file. All right. We will transfer the file to Gungir, see if you can use the decipher to decipher the encrypted message. The syntax should look like this, echo decoded text into cipher name dot text, okay. All right, so let's go back to our notes here. All right, and by the way, um, what was that, um, this thing right here, oh, each here. Let's copy that off too, right? Can I edit please? Oh, I can't edit notes. All right, well, whatever. All right, so I just wanted to, um, here, I need to put this somewhere. I'll put it right here in chat. <laughs> uh, you're close, Jerry. Rascal mentioned that it doesn't rotate three. Yep, no, perfectly. Um, here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna go to CyberChef, which is a great way to do uh, different, this is a great tool. You should definitely have this in your, um, in your uh, wheelhouse here. Where's Caesar? Hold on. Maybe I, I don't know. Caesar? I guess Caesar box cipher? No, is it? All right, maybe Cyber Chef doesn't have it. And I'm a fool. All right, but let's do Caesar Chef. I mean, um, Caesar cipher. I just wanna see. So there's like tools online to, to do this quickly. 
All right, Caesar Cipher, long term, long time, famous one. Let's go ahead and copy this here. Right now, a tool like this, let's brute force it. And you can see here, it brute forced it and sent it over here. So all I'm going to look at, oh, there we go. And it's ROT13. Oh, okay. So, sorry to ruin it. So I said earlier, ROT13 is more common. I think the answer is ROT13. I'm sorry to have guessed it um, and, and ruined the surprise for everybody. Um, all right. So let's look. I think ROT13 is the uh, answer, rotation 13. So now let's do this. Um, can I, how do I copy? Can I copy all this? Okay. Let's copy it. And then let's do this again. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but let's do, um, let's do rot 13. Oh, bro. Hold on. What am I? Simple here? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, no, the shit, the Caesar text is here. All right, so hold on. So I'm looking at this. Rot 13. Oh. Hold on. Rot 13 is just the alphabet in the right order. What am I? Am I mental? What am I doing here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I see what you're saying. This is literally just the alphabet in the right order, right? And it's rotated. Okay. So I thought I was looking at some type of encoded message, but because I'm trying to move quickly, I'm a silly Billy, and that's what I was doing. So... Let's do, um, let's go to the home directory. All right, so we're now a little confusing. Um, hold on. So a little confusing is, um, The, the decoded text. So what actually is encoded? I guess this is encoded. One thousand Secrets 1A, 1000. This is the alphabet and it's rotated, I guess. Uh, one, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, right. So it's rotated 13. So what is the decrypted text? Right, the cipher name is rot13, but the decoded text. Yeah. Oh, 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 I get it. Okay, okay. So here's the deal. This was the email, right? And you could see here, this is unusual. It looks encoded. So when I, when I, um, when I drop it in this guy right here, you could see, you could see here, I've, I've, in, I've put it in here, right? And I'm going to decrypt the Caesar cipher. And you could see here, rot 13 presents the word Brutus which is totally on brand, right? Because Brutus killed Caesar and, you know, et tu Brute, his buddy. All right, so let's let's do this. Uh, one, one little bit of confusion with this range, and it's not a problem, but uh, it says go to the home directory. Well, technically, I'm in the home directory, which is like, you know, the root directory, and there is a home directory, like explicitly home directory. So I'm going to go to the home directory and then I'm going to do this echo the decoded text, which is Brutus into rot13.txt permission denied. Okay. Hey Bjorn. Good to see you. 
Oh, it did say root directory. Okay, cool. All right. Boom, baby. Nice. Okay, so I, I messed up. It was the root directory. Uh, thank you, Jaren. All right, so Gungir, did you get that? The cipher from dealer to decrypt appears to be a rot 13 cipher. Does the decrypt the mess does that decrypt the message that you intercepted from agenda 21 agent? Also want to call everybody's attention really quickly. When you're playing the um the game, it'll um up here. Oh my gosh, bro. Up here, it'll uh have like kind of like what your your goals are or your mission, you know, like your orders. Like if you ever played like first person shooter and it's like, here's your objectives. That's what these are. So it's very useful to stay on track of what you're doing. Gungnir, did you get that? The cipher from the dealer to decrypt appears to be Rot 13. Okay. Gungnir should should chime in now. No good. Rot 13 doesn't seem to work for this message. We're going to have to keep searching to find a way to break this code. Oh, I like it. Agenda 21 agent and decrypt may not be using the same cipher, but they are both working with the dealer. Oh, yeah. There has to be a clue somewhere. Keep searching. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> Rascal. Jerry guy, enumerate the network further. We may have missed something. There must be more information out there that will help us decrypt the Agenda 21 message. Okay. Hold on. Gungnir may, may have something for us. Rot 13 may not be what we're looking for, but we intercepted a message from Agenda 21 agent that Rod 13 did decrypt. The message reference crypto.com slash hex. Have you ever been there? I'm not sure what Gen 21 was searching that site, but maybe it will help you. All right, we've got more intel. Let's go. So we're going to pull up our web browser, do crypto.com slash hex. Ooh, doggy. Look at this. Group the binary digits in sets of four starting from the right. If there are any remaining digits that don't form a group of four, add leading zeros to make complete groups. Convert each group of four binary digits into hexadecimal equivalent. Here's a quick reference. Excuse me. Zero, 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 zero. One, one, one is F. So, I mean, this is basically, well, yeah, it's a binary to hexadecimal conversion kit. I love it. Um, It appears to be information converting binary to hex. This could be just what we need to lead us to the information we need. Remember the binary we found earlier? Yes, I do. Let's convert the binary to hex. The dot com we saw earlier was sussy sus. If it's attached to this binary, maybe it's a URL. Try and convert the hex and navigate to the uh, what you find in the web browser. I like it. Uh, I kind of find it funny too because like they defanged the <laughs> the URL, but we're gonna like fang it basically. Where did I see it? There it is. Crypto.com and then this. All right. So guys, basically the ask now is to take these binaries and convert them. All right. So let's do it. 11101. That is what? Uh, 13? 13. Right. And uh, yeah, 13 is D. Okay, so D and then 1110 is 14 is E. So D, E, here, I'm going to write this in chat. All right, D, E, 1100 is, uh, what is that? 12. D, E, C, oh yeah. Nice and easy, people. 000 is 0. Uh, 1101 is D again. Oh, and 1110, I think I know where this is going, is E. We have just decoded this. It is leet speak, people. Let's do it. So we're going to crypto.com, right? You can see we just converted, we just, you know, basically decrypted this or, or deciphered it, really, deciphering more than decrypting. Um. But well, we're going to go to this, and then we're going to go D-E-C-0-D-E-D, -E -E all right? So the range creator, Jaron Judd, um, has really cool URL using 
hexadecimal values, which would basically be zero through nine and then A through F to create what looks like an English word of decoded, but also in lead speak. You see how it's got that zero? Um, Jaron could have also used threes where the E's are. That's another form of lead speak. Lead speak is a, a form of like, uh, I don't know, like butchering the English language that um, computer hackers did like in the 90s. You see it less often now, but all right. So let's go. All right. Crypto.com did not work. Decoded did not work. I think it's decode, not decoded. I got a little ahead of myself. That didn't work either. Let's try it again. Crypto.com slash decode. Crypt, crypt, Crypto.com. Hold on a second. We'll solve this. That's definitely D. That's definitely E. That's definitely C. Ah. All right. You got to be careful with case sensitivity, y'all. All caps. Oh, yeah. All right. You found a website for con after converting the binary. Very nice. This appears to be a riddle on the page. The crack cipher appeared to be a name. Maybe the riddles are the password. Figure this one out. And SSH in the dealer's machine on the network. I love it. All right, let's go. What's missing color is in the rainbow. By the way, shout out to the range developer, Jaron Judd again. Um, I don't know if he did this on purpose or not, but uh, rainbows in the cybersecurity realm are often associated with what's called a um, rainbow table, which is basically pre-compiled hashes um, and, and passwords to make lookup easier so you don't have to do the uh computations which team are you on okay violet so purple team yellow team orange team green blue what missing color is in a rainbow all right a lot of people yelling blue team i love it i love it ssh into the dealer's machine on the network so let's do that so we we think blue team or blue is uh the answer let's move this let's move into the dealer i'm gonna just gonna double click on it Oh, nice. Double clicking. Um, dealer at, and then, uh, whoops. Dealer at 192.168.1.172. Let's go. And then, oh my God. Okay, sensitive. Lowercase SSH, y'all. Now, the password, I'm going to do capital B L U. Password denied. Capital B L U T E A M. Passer denied all lowercase blue team. Okay, let's let's do capital blue and then space team. Hmm. All right. Figure out the password. Which team are you on? What's the missing color that's in a rainbow? All right. So I feel like blue is the missing color. All right. Let's go back and look at the emails. All right. So it says, use the password, use the cipher to crack the code. Use the password to log in. You will have to combine your efforts. Your payload will be there. The payload's too sensitive. Um, maybe it's, that's the problem. All right, so uh, we're seeing here, Adam is saying it's just the word, so maybe blue with a capital B is right. Uh, also, um, George over on LinkedIn. The first thing I cracked was Brutus. Brutus. So let's do that. Brutus is the dealer. So let's do that. SSH. And we'll do Brutus, okay? And we'll do blue as the password. All right. Let's let's do uh, this. 
and we'll do all caps Brutus because it was all caps, right? And then we'll do blue with lower upper. No, blue team. No, blue team. Nope. Uh, let's try Brutus with a capital. Let me try Brutus with a capital B. All right, let's try Brutus all lowercase. All right. All right, so it looks like Brutus. All right, so Brutus uppercase is what we want. And then let's say at dealer, because it did do a host name, and then we'll say blue. Blue team. All right, let's say blue team, one word. Let's say blue team, all lowercase, one word. All right, so that's it, okay? The, uh, the username was Brutus, all caps, which we got from the email. It is the dealer is the host name of the machine, not the user account. So we were doing Brutus at dealer, and the hint was, what team are you on? And the answer was blue team, all lowercase. All right, so let's see what it says here. You've done it, Jerry guy. You made it to the dealer's machine. Start digging around. I wonder what secrets the machine has waiting for us. Thank you. Ooh, we got a dojo map. We got a streak award. Look at us. Mission complete. I love it. We got 15 minutes. You guys want to... Should we do... There was a second... Um, there was another um, mission... I got I got a hard stop at five, but there was another mission. Oh, look at this! They added um, I like this. Look at this. This is cool. I like this like graphic and and font. Very cool. All right, so let me exit out of here. I don't know how to get to Forge normally, so let me get out of here. Get to Forge the way I do know. Mariana Albright's got love for the blue team. All right, so let's go to Forge. I'm going to do... So here's what I can do, y'all. I can play um, Mission 1B, or we could do AMA and talk World of Haiku, or I could go into some of the learning I just did with the crypto and the ciphers and, you know, all that stuff if you want. Let me know in chat what you guys are thinking. All right. I want to say what's up to Bjorn. Bjorn uh, has helped me with web app stuff in the past. Love seeing him in the streams. Good to see you, Bjorn. Hey, Esther Wright. Very cool. So there's a link in the pin chat to World of Haiku if you're interested. Um, Jake Price with Haiku also shared a link earlier on how to get um, a free trial so you could play along. Ah, oh, that's a good question. So Jenny Housley, ever so smart, is asking about making content in Forge. I love it. So Forge is actually, uh, so Haiku is planning a major event, okay? And the major event is a competition for who can make the most enjoyable range. We played Jenny Housley's range last week. This week we played the first um, of Jaron Judd's range, both different ranges, both a lot of fun. And Haiku is offering a thousand dollars cash to the winner of the contest. And all you have to do to enter is create a forge range. Now, I don't know. I think you have to have, um, I think you have to have the, access to forge so i don't think you can create a forge range um and not have uh financial commitments jake will have to correct me on that but as of right now i believe you have to have a subscription to world of iku in order to access forge and then you can make uh, a range and enter the contest oh bjorn finished the aoc 2023 
uh, range of the day. That's cool. Hey, Bjorn, guess what? Guess what tomorrow's AOC 2023 challenge of the day is? I don't know. I don't know if you know, but I'll give you a hint. This guy. Hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully you enjoy it, Bjorn. So let me go into the thing and uh, to the forge and show you a little bit. So inside forge, when you get here, I did forge. Now I'm selecting, this is kind of like the shop. This is the community. This is where you, uh, you know, create uh, or access ones that people have already uh, created like Jaren or Jenny, but you could also create your own brand new one or you could fork an existing one, right? Which is really, really cool. So I'm going to just create a brand new one from scratch because I just want to show you what it looks like in here. You can see I this is clearly my range just because of Finfrox Escape. So I'll create new one, network name, um, Bjorn's um, Good Times. All right, so when they drop you in here, it's as simple as that. You get a network, a uh, blank network. Um, you have to add devices, whatever you want. I would strongly encourage if you are going to make a range that it's a best practice to have an idea of like what you're um, planning on making beforehand. I wouldn't just come in here and start clicking on stuff. I mean, you can do that. Yes, Adam, it is one where I, I box in Charles so he can't do anything. Uh, really quickly, thank you, Jenny Housley, for the link. This is the contest. Jenny Housley just dropped a link in chat, so you can click on it yourself if you want. But I'll share it right here. Unlock cre creativity, training in haiku, build, compete, and win $1,000. There's a monthly prize of 100 bucks, weekly prizes of 50 bucks. Right? And all you got to do is make a range. Dude, if you're the only person who makes one that week, you might win it by default. Submission deadline, January 15th. So you've got one month and 11 days. So just under six weeks uh, to make your ranges. And I don't know. I wish there was a little bit more detail on when the weekly prizes go out. Like, is it before the deadline? Is it after the deadline? So that's a little confusing to me. Jake Price, question for Haiku and Jake Price. When is weekly and monthly winners being done? Like grand prize, submission deadline, the 15th. This makes sense. This I don't get. Like, is this after the deadline and then it's going forward? Let me know. Oh, cool. Jaron Judd's offering up his, uh, his mentorship on making a range. So there's three ways to win. Weekly social winners every Friday. Oh, I should have just scrolled down. There was more info here. What a dummy I am. So if you post it to LinkedIn, that's how you enter for the weekly one. I might enter myself, make a Simply Cyber one. Monthly, each month, we will focus on awarding for the best training module. Oh, cool. For the month of December, it's offensive. For the month of December, or January, it's defensive. That's very cool. Grand prize, January 30th, $1,000. Dude, even if you come in third, you could potentially win $250. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. So it's easy. Create it. Follow Haiku. Submit your entry. They're going to know it because it's going to be in the community range. And go for it. If you want... You can enter as many ranges as you want. You can enter as many ranges as you want. Another cool feature, okay? Where can you learn, right? So, hey, Anonymous, Anonymous. So if you want to create a range and you're not sure how to do it and uh, Jaren is not available, then check this out. Build your own cyber ranges, make game-based training, build cybersecurity learning. So check it out. Click here. Takes you to LinkedIn. And this is a stream of me. 
All right. So this is a stream of me two weeks ago, actually. So there you go. If you want to know more about ranges, you can watch me in a previous uh, video. Awesome. Also, you can build cyber ranges with the forge tool. Actually, that's the same video. Um, what else do we got? Here's a 30 minute video from Haiku from two weeks ago showing you exactly. Yep, here you go. This is perfect. This shows you exactly what to do and how to do it. This is great. I'll share a link in chat. If you are interested in getting more information on building a range, There you go. Really, you can make $1,000 on this. And here's the details on how to build the range. This is cool. Oh, here we go. Here's me again. This guy. All right. So two of me, one of other. And uh, yeah. Everyone's eligible. Oh, look at this guy. So your judges will be Eric Basu, me, which that now may, leads me to believe I will not be able to enter because I would have a gross conflict of interest. Um, I did not. All right. Uh, Neil Bridges, you guys know Neil Bridges, and then our very own base case, Casey Gaska. So look at this. I got to tell you, this is quite the uh, lineup here, quite the slugger's ball here. Anonymous, anonymous, what is a range? A range is a lab, basically, that um, allows you to immerse yourself in. It's, it's, it's a lab that kind of simulates as close to reality as you can. It's like, think of a firing range or a shooting range. Do I need to... um? Hold on one second. Um, all right. Hey, Justin Gold. Anonymous, anonymous. Let me know if that answers your question. But anyways, go check out the contest. Win $1,000. Uh, very cool. I'm going to drop a link to that as well. Hey, Just Ben. Good to see you. All right, we got just a couple minutes left. So this is basically where you go drop a firewall in there, just like this. Then you got all these other things. Let's drop a gateway right here. And then let's do a workstation here and a web server here. Perfect, right? And then we can connect these. It's just as simple as this, guys. It's like literally a WYSIWYG, okay? What you see is what you get and click it, you click it. I just built that range simple in like two seconds, right? And then what you can also do is, um, hold on one second. You could also uh, change the properties on a device. So you could actually have a lot of fun and be silly, right? So I could name this device name um, like Bjorn's puppy dog, right? So Bjorn's got a dog, he could name the device name that, right? And then let me see if I can workstation like foobar, host name like waffles, right? And then there you go. Right. And it's just as simple as that, right? You can, you know, web server, host name, like simply cyber.io. You guys get the idea. It's basically point and click, drag and drop. You build your entire network, what you want it to look like, and then you build a mission. And the mission's where the storyline goes, right? So mission name, simply Cyber01. Um, mission name, like, you know, getting, uh, or Cyber Kill Chain, right? Like, what is a student going to learn from this? Cyber Kill Chain, objective, uh, recon a box, and get root access simple like very straightforward right and 
And there you go. So then you just, you know, start introducing steps. They've, they've made this, um, they've made this, uh, very robust, right? So you could say hello. Um, right. And then let's do, how do we, um, there's a way to like make people talk. Is it nitro caption? No, it's not nitro caption, nitro app, excuse me. Right. And then you could have any of the characters you want. Dojo, Lou, I, I always like log, um, oral Dr. Parks. Right. And you could say like, Jerry is awesome. But Bjorn is the tops, right? And like, this will show up. So ideally, you would work this into the storyline. So it's like guiding your student or guiding your, um, you know, your player through the things, teaching them stuff. You could, hey, I'll tell you this. If you were um, a business, right, you could build a range for your business, put it in the, in the community, have them teach something. But you could also say like, like, for example, I could, t I could make a whole range about this cybersecurity framework or GRC and then say, Hey, you know, like I could even have gun gear say, Hey, listen, if you really want to learn more about GRC, go over to simply cybers, GRC analyst masterclass, use the code haiku secret coupon. That's only in the storyline to get 20% off, right? You could do that. You could, I mean, technically you could build in, um, marketing for your business into these ranges. There's nothing to stop you from doing that. Now, obviously you can't just build a range and have one thing happen. Like the player drops in and it's like, go to this other website now. Like that would be dumb. But if you deliver value and have it kind of branded as yours, or say you're at the Citadel military college or you work at IBM or whatever, like you could make content that's specific and personalized simply cyber, right? We could have a simply cyber one. Jenny Housley made a um, flaming donkey range for Simply CyberCon. She didn't use um, Forge for that, but you could do it the same way, right? Oh, that's perfect. Jenny Housley saying that um, if you wanted bespoke tailored ranges, they could make that for you too. All right, guys. Hey, I hope you've been having a good time. I certainly have. I want to thank all of you for being here. Um, I want to thank you all for being here. I got a boogie, but we've been playing with Forge. Go check out that contest again. Um, there's a link in the description or link here. I'll just show you guys on stream again. If you want to go check it out, you could win a thousand dollars. And again, I'm one of the judges right here. This guy right here, uh, Neil Bridges, Casey and Eric Basu, all, all good people. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I've enjoyed it. Jaron Judd, Thank you so much for a really great, pleasant experience. I loved playing that range. I look forward to playing 1B next time, uh, if you'll have me. I'm Jerry, your chat. Thanks so much for all you guys do. And we will see you tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Eastern time. Be well, be good, and stay secure.